hello everyone welcome back to my unity open world tutorial series so today uh, we are going to work on synchronizing the uh, work actual work moment speed and the animations speed uh, so that uh, you won't see any kind of a sliding when the character works so yeah that's what i'm going to work on today so now as you can see in this demonstration the character's foot fits perfectly on the ground and stays stationary relative to the ground uh, the foot which is on the ground so yeah that's what i'm going to cover today and let's get started okay so at the moment we can't really understand uh, whether these characters uh, moments are aligned with the animations because uh, we don't have any details on the ground so therefore we don't see we can't see it's hard to see how accurate the animations with the speed of moment so therefore um, yeah let me add some other material um, let's see what we got I need something like a grid oh, we don't have it no so so right so let's see let's download a grid texture What? These grids are also a stock photos. <laughs> nice. Okay, let's try this. Let me save this. And uh, let's import it to our project. I don't have any texture folder right let's create one. Oh no let's create a new material create Click create material M grid and as for the base map I'll use this one right now for this ground let's use the grid material well it's too big so yeah let's set the tile into hundred by hundred good now we can see the details on the ground right now you can see it is not yeah moment speed and the animations don't match you can see that now okay so yeah let's start with working animation So working speed should be let's try half of this so we have to change two things now this one I'll set the total speed to 10 right now the working animation oh wait the working animation would be around 3.33 and running would be around 6.7 and sprinting is at 10 
okay right uh, let's try that now uh, I need to change the speed for my character moment class inside my character moment class as well um, so working so let me promote these two variables so like this I'll create new set of variables public float work speed public float run speed uh, I should set default values for this work speed should be 3.3 .3, as I just saw running should be 6.7 and like this we should have sprint speed and crouch speed and also prone in speed so crowd speed also should be around 3.3 prone is also it should be way less than crouching so let's say one so here for working I'll set work speed for running I'll set run speed for crouching crouch speed for proning pro speed and yeah I don't I didn't define a swimming speed so let's define it okay sprinting sprint speed right uh, now here okay we have the variables now mm, let's try and play Still working is too fast, but running seems all right. Well, it's not very clear. Wait, what's the sprint speed? It should be 10, not 3.3. Let me change it in the default value. and work speed I think something like 2 would be better so then okay so I have to update it here now as well hmm. for running sorry to for working still I see a little bit of sliding of the foot and somewhat shaking why is that
let's set it to perfectly to 2 The figure is somewhat shaking, uh, but let's forget about that for now and focus on synchronizing the animation. Okay, so why does it shake? Is it because of uh, synchronization problems? Shaken is not here. All right, right. So yeah, pay attention to the console, so we can figure it out. So here, now in the console, you can see the speed is now one point eight and two one point eight. So it keep changing. Mm -mm. Why is that? Right. So I think that should be because we are using a rigid body to move the character. Okay. Uh -huh. Let's go to character moment. So let's go to animation controller. Where do we print this value? Here. Okay. Um. Right. So let's do some smoothing here. I'll define a new private variable float speed and here before setting this speed value instead of getting that I'll use the speed so I'll set speed equals math dot love from speed to this one and for as for t I'll use time dot delta time So, so here what I'm trying to do is smoothing out that uh, abrupt changes in the velocity so that we won't see any shakings in the animations. Okay. Right, now the shakings are gone. But the update time for animation is not enough. So maybe we can multiply this with two. Okay, it looks better now. And the moment is more aligned with the speed. But we can refine this further. Uh, if 
if I maximize the this and you can see when I walk the foot is still um, slides a little bit we can clearly see that if I reduce the time scale yeah so let's try that time dot times k equals 0.1 f so now what I'm trying to do is reducing the speed of the game game time so now as you can see we are slowly we are in slow motion mode Let's go to working. And you can see, yeah, the foot slides a little bit forward. It doesn't stay exactly on the same place while one foot is on the ground. So we can fix it by slightly changing the speed of the running animation. So instead of 1, let's try 1.1. 1 .1 and see how it looks. is running animation let's go back to walking not quite there as you can if you pay attention to the bottom left corner you can see the speed is reducing 2.25 2.23 2.1 2 right now we are getting closer to the walk speed right now i think we are at walk speed okay now the footwork is better Yeah, I can say it stays in the same position. That's good enough. So let's remove the time scale, time slowing down, and see it in real time. See, it looks better now. The walking feels more real now, no sliding. So right next thing is uh, yeah now we have to work on this running and all other animations but for now I'll stop at this point and yeah so if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patron club link would be in the description below and yeah I have released another project file version uh, and if you are in my patron club you can download it so Okay, and thanks for watching. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.